This is a special place. We're a conservation burial ground. We only allow natural burials out here. That means there's no metal caskets, vaults, no one uh, can be embalmed that comes out here. So it's something that's, that's natural. And normally when I talk to people and I mention the word cemetery, typically uh, what comes to mind is your traditional cemetery. And then after I give them a tour, they, they shake their heads and they say, I would have never known this was a cemetery. And that's, that's kind of the idea, is that when you come in here, you're not surrounded by death, you're surrounded by life. Back in 2000, was diagnosed with a synovial sarcoma of the neck. Chief of head and neck surgery at MD Anderson um, said that it was probably due to my exposure to formaldehyde. At that time, I was uh, embalming for, for funeral homes and did about 150 cases a year. They gave me about a 30% chance to live five years. I was lucky enough to make it through that. Uh, it also kind of put in perspective how fragile life is. And I think it prompted me to go out and start my own business, which I did in 2007. I started um, Robertson Funeral and Cremation Service. And so here, 20 years later, uh, I looked at the trends in the funeral industry and uh, green cemeteries are something that are very popular uh, out west. Uh, here in the south, you don't see as many of them, but I felt like this was something I could really sink my teeth in. I just had to find the right property. I think I found it out here. I really enjoy the preserve uh, just because of what it offers people, uh, not just from a cost standpoint, but also the benefits uh, for the environment. The other thing, and this is kind of selfish on my part, but I know that whenever I die, I'm going to be buried out here, but this place will be protected forever. It will always be uh, a conservation burial ground. In 100 years from now, this place will be here, and hopefully people will come out here, and there'll be more and more people that come out here. So, um, you know, for me, this is kind of my, you know, my swan song in a way. You know, it'll be here forever, and I like that.